Hello everyone and welcome to What Not To Render, the show that makes mistakes so that you don't have to. My name is James Common and I'm the Maxwell Render Mentor at the University of Brighton Centre for Design Technology and in this episode I'll be looking at enabling Simulens features before rendering. So here I am in Maxwell Studio and I'm going to enable my scattering feature down here in Render Options under the Simulens tab. I'm going to enable scattering and put it to about 100. I know that scattering can add a little bit of realism to my renders so that's why I'm enabling it and then I just click render. So here I am in Maxwell Render and it's rendering along quite nicely. And if I go to my menus by pressing the H key to unhide the menus, I can see that under the Simulens tab, scattering is set to 100. However, what you may not realize is that this is actually slowing down the render. Because at every single update, in other words, every time you reach a new SL, or approximately every 12 minutes, depending on which is sooner, Maxwell Render has to calculate the scattering for the image and apply that to the render. And this is adding on time to the render as well as using up memory. It may not be very noticeable in this small render, which is only going to take about 20 minutes apparently, but in larger renders it really can slow things down. What you want to do is deactivate scattering, both in Maxwell Render and in Maxwell Studio in the first place, wait for your render to finish, and then activate scattering to whatever level you want, and then refresh Maxwell Render, and then save the image. Activating scattering before your render is finished. That is what not to render. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.